podcast now. This is Alex, the other person from podcast now. Um, this is debut on Finding Reality Moon Quest. Um, but today we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk just briefly about the gig economy website that Electronium is developing, um, and that's going to be coming out after the instant payment system, which comes out in September. Um, and then we're also I'm going to be showing that I'll kind of like walk through quickly too. Um, a couple like UI designs or just just like like uh, essentially apps that uh, exist currently that like if Electronium were to come out with their own app for the instant payment system um, which you'll see and if that was incorporated into other retailers because we've talked about that before here's just like my idea how it would fit into the current um, design or the current flow of what these retailers show on their apps, if that makes sense. But anyway, so you might be wondering, you know, why is this brochure, I know it's kind of hard to see, why is this brochure out? And then I also have this little mag. So you might be wondering, what the heck is this? You might have heard me talk about before how I have a business here in Las Vegas. I just got this in the mail actually yesterday. Um, and how does this relate to Electronium or the gig economy? Well, because this was created um, basically with digital, obviously digital artwork that I then upload to who I used, uh, Vistaprint. But anyways, so I do all the digital artwork for our channel, for my own business, um, and, I, and I've actually done it for other businesses back from where I'm from. I actually still do it. And the reason I'm saying that is the gig website that Electronium and Richard, Richard Ells have been developing and what they were talking about, I believe it was volume five. I'll have the link in the description and probably in the comments too of that video that Electronium put out. But basically, so we're getting the instant payment system, like I said, we're getting that in September, where you're gonna be able to either use your phone, your tablet, or whatever. Uh, a vendor's gonna be able to have this, essentially an app, um, where you're gonna be able to pay with Electronic, or also you know Bitcoin, whatever else they choose to list. Electronic, whatever they choose to list. I believe it's like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, and I think that's all they said. And then anything else that they choose. Um, that's a big deal because, and the reason Alex is on this video, not only because he's visiting me in Las Vegas, yeah, but he, it. yeah, and he's he literally does a ton of stuff for podcasts now. Um, we are a very good team, but he definitely. He does a lot, but with this, I'm trying to do even more. Uh, like Moon Quest, I'm trying to do a lot more. Um, but the reason that I said, you know what, I want you to do this with me, not, you know, he's in the house, but because he doesn't follow, he does now he, you have Electronium, and our channel has Electronium. Yeah. Um, we thought that was a very smart investment, very smart. Because uh, essentially, none of the money that we make right now, we get zero, we get none of it, a lot of it goes towards you guys, it goes towards the giveaways, and if you're not a subscriber, definitely subscribe because we have like 50 giveaways this year alone. I know the year's almost done, but trust me, all the big stuff's coming up, like yeah. soon. Um, so all the money really goes towards the channel, getting new equipment, um, giveaways, and all the, and then what we, what we have left over essentially goes into crypto. Um, so we're, we're definitely invested into Electronium, but I'm more into you know the following and, and the different chats and all that stuff than Alex. Now, this is important because I asked Alex a couple days ago, what is it? Because obviously there's thousands of coins, there's thousands of cryptos, and we all know that. A lot of people think that Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency. There, there's a mis Green. yeah, there's a huh? Christopher Green. Yeah, right. There's a <laughs> idiot. There's a misconception that cryptocurrency equals Bitcoin. That's not true. Bitcoin, for the most part, is just a median of exchange. You need to, most times, have Bitcoin in order to get something else. Yeah. You could say that about some other ones, but that's essentially the only reason Bitcoin's even a thing right now. That's, that's my opinion, but I'm pretty sure that, that's, the, that's the mentality of most people. Um, so I said to Alex, is like, what does Electronium need to do from a real world, real guy perspective? What does Electronium need to do, in your opinion, to not really just so much raise the price because the price is low and everybody's like when this one that it doesn't matter um but what does it need to do to become one of the top if not the top cryptos and you can say real quick like what you said pretty much give it an actual purpose yes 
use. So it's basically have a true real world purpose yeah. so that you can actually use what it is. Because if, if you can't, and I, I almost agree too, where if you can't, not just for electronic, if you can't use it, like, like if somebody gave me $5 US dollars, you can't use and it. I can't, let's say they ban cash, it's not worth anything. Yeah. Right? It's not worth anything. Now, people might say, well, we still believe in it, just like gold. I can't go to Smith's or I can't go to Target or any store right now. I, I can't shop on eBay or anything, Amazon. I can't say, well, here's, a, here's some gold coins or here's some silver coins that I have. But there is a value. Yeah. People believe in it, but I can't use it. Which is where electronium is right now. That is true. It is. And it's it's a, and that's essentially, common. that is where electronium is now, where it's like there is a core group. And we do have a very strong community. Stronger than you might realize. We have a very strong community, and not you, them. And um, you know the price is low. That's true. But with the instant payment system coming out in September, that's a real world use. Maybe not so much in the West, but elsewhere, and it'll bleed into the West. Um, we have the gig economy that I'm going to talk about right now. That's a real world use. That's here's, exactly what it is. This is what it needs. And here's how it's a real world use. So something like this or my brochures here, okay? So something like these, let's say I sucked at digital work, right? Let's say for, for the podcast now, for our channel, which originally, we were trying to find templates. I'm like, I'll just do it myself, because I wasn't always that, you know, I was always good, but it wasn't that great. But, you know, after doing it and doing it and doing it, you I've gotten it? better and better and better. I mean, it's actually crazy. Like, I mean, that looks like a legitimate official poster, in my opinion. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is experience leads to better work. And here's why that's important. So if I was bad at this kind of stuff, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to run a business, and, and, I, and I said I got this from Vistaprint, you may or may not know what that is, they just do marketing stuff, uh, like business cards, brochures, all that. Now I bought like 250 brochures, and it was around, it was on sale, I got it for like $45. I got these, I got 15 of these, so it was cheap for $5. But, if I had, and there's templates that they provide, or you can pay them, and all the sites do this, there's a lot of sites, or you can pay them, it's like 100 or plus, to like uh, direct mail, I'll be doing that next. I can pay this direct mail, I have hiccups, I can pay this direct mail site $150 for them to come up with a design for me. Yeah. Or I can do it myself, if I do it myself, it's free. Here's where the gig economy comes in. Now, this is sort of a bad example, but in a way, it's actually a good example. Because if somebody in a unbanked, as we keep calling it, is it in an unbanked country where they don't have access to a bank, they don't use, like, it's, it's just different over there. Uh, they get paid very low. Like, they get paid, well, let's say what's equivalent in the United States to $2, that's their paycheck. Or that might be what they make for the month. So it's very low income. But obviously all the other stuff's different too. Like their, their prices are lower and it's just how the world works for them. Uh, but anyways, if somebody over there is really good with digital artwork and they're like, well, you know, I'm going to post on the Electronium gig website and I'll offer my digital marketing or my digital whatever um, experience that I, you know, let's say I've done it 50 times for a couple people and I get better and better and better. So maybe I can raise my fee a little bit or the, you know, the, the price. But let's say it, it would only cost me in the West, where we have more money than them, let's say they're only asking for, I'm just gonna say a number, it doesn't have to make sense, 10, $15. Let's say he used to charge 10, now it's 15, because he's, he's a lot better now. Then maybe in a few months, maybe it's 17 or $20. Or I could pay Vistaprint or these other companies 100 and something dollars. Yeah. Which would I do? I would obviously go with the guy, and I have the purchasing power. Either you know, I mean, a lot of these exchanges you could either download the app, you could do it right on your phone. I've done like KuCoin stuff right on my phone when I'm at work, try doing. Oh, I gotta get some electronium. I do it at work. Like boom, okay, sell. Um, you do it on your computer. We have almost essentially instant access to purchase, and it'll get easier once we're on other exchanges too to purchase electronium. Um, and they have the app on Android, the beta is on Apple to have the mobile miner. We have the mobile miner, they have the cloud miner for now. It might eventually become all cloud mining. 
Uh, so we get a little bit free every month. And the reason I'm saying that is so because if they have an Android phone over there, and I forgot the numbers, but there's 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 a, there's a lot of people that have out of the millions or, or billions of unbanked, I think there's like 325. Or 325 million that have access to a phone. I forgot the numbers. I'll probably I'll post it on you know on the screen. But anyways, if they have a phone, very likely they have an Android phone. Therefore, they have the mobile mind. Um, so they can also be making a little bit of extra money a month because of the mobile miner. On top of now they're making more money, or they're making their money by doing digital artwork and, and someone someone essentially from the West or from a you know, that has a little bit more money, a banked civilization, can pay unbanked people that now have this digital experience or whatever to do artwork for cheap. Um, so that's why I'm showing this. Um, it, in my opinion, that's a real world deal. This is a big, like, there's websites, especially for YouTube, you know where YouTube channels? Yes. There's websites that do, that you pay people to make graphics, yeah. thumbnails. Now, I think it's cool about this too is, think about those people that have been doing that. If the price is less to pay an electronium, don't you think maybe they'll jump over it? So you get all these people that are paying, say, they pay $20, but over here it's the equivalent of like $10 in electronium. Well, and then they give you the wider of cryptocurrencies, you right? Know, and then they jump well, over. Well, we get into and it. This is a big value. Goes digital up. artwork doesn't sound like it's a big thing, it's but a it's, huge a, it's thing. a huge. There's thing. many sites. Yeah, there are many sites about digital um, artwork. And people, I, I found, um, if you you might know it, I, because I I'm into like drawing and artwork too, like deviant art. People mm -hmm. not only post their artwork, they do commission work. Yeah, that's the um, same thing. Twitch, Twitch yes. people stream it, and, and commission all the time. But there are people who think that Electronium should not do the gig website. And they should just go to gig websites that already exist and just try to partner with them and say, hey, start something Electronium. Do you think that's a good idea? Or do you think that Electronium yeah. should do their own? Yeah, the option to make your own. They should, they should do their own. And people are saying, well, but they already are more established. But to me, it's good PR because you create your own website. You have these unbanked people come in. You get that press where it's like, man, Electronium, this company, Electronium, and they have a cryptocurrency. They're trying to help make these people that are in poorer countries. They're trying to help them. They're giving them a route to make more money. This is a fantastic thing um, that Electronium's doing. I, I could be wrong. I don't know of any other point doing this because they're a threat, because they're trying to help. Man, that's what happens. Um, but yeah, so the gig economy, in my opinion, just like you said, it, it, it's, it's big. It is very big. It's a real world use. And it's something that you can point to. It's something that you can look. I mean, soon, like once that gig economy's out, and people do this kind of stuff, or they have, maybe someone's good with video editing, or they could do this, or they could do that. And then you can physically, like maybe you print it out because it was a commission work. And maybe it was somebody who is really talented at like art or, or whatever, and you download it and then you bring it somewhere and they print it out for a canvas and it's on the wall and you can touch it. That's a real world use. How did I pay for it? Pay for it with Electronium, the mobile mining coin. I don't know if you know, it's more than that, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so that's huge. So that's the end of that. I came up with the concept if Electronium created and a separate instant payment app. So instead of it being on the Electronium app, they come up with a different app. Again, this is all concept, not real. Okay, so there it is. So, and then this is how it would look, you know, it's on my phone, but then I'm gonna show you the real picture. And it shows, it connects you to your Electronium app, your Electronium account, so it shows you the wallet balance. It shows you all the different crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Arrow. Then I also have credit debit, so you can list your credit card, so, or debit card too. So essentially, the way that this app works is it's like an all-in-one uh, payment app where instead of saying, well, I'm going to pay with Google or I'm going to pay with Apple or I'm going to use Samsung Pay. No, you say, I'm going to pay with Electronium. And why? Well, because I can pay what's this widely accepted. I can either use my debit card, my credit card. I can use any of my cryptos and I can use Electronium. And I always can see the dollar equivalent or like whatever country you're in to what uh, the coin is. So then in the pay string, you can do send request. You just type in, you just punch in how much you're requesting or, or sending. Um, and then again, then you can go through and you can see it was received, it shows you all the details, it shows you the wallet address. So that's that one. And then really quickly, 
I have a target one. So if target was accepted, or the you know the whole the twenty dollars off a month that I talked about before. So you have the app lifetime savings. So it shows you you know how much you've been saving with being signed up with Electronium through Target. And then it has Electronium discounts. So then when you go into Electronium discounts, it shows you you have a twenty dollar voucher, free twenty dollar gift or Target e gift card with Electronium monthly gift card subscription. Could have written that better. Apparently. I was just really out of it. And then I also have, if Walmart were to uh, accept electronic pay, it's just there. That was pretty simple. But. And then, real fast, to show you guys what I was talking about before, um, like with the Google, or the, sorry, with the Electronium Shock device, that's the opening screen, that it brings you to a screen much like what you'd see on Android TV. Shows you your Electronium wallet balance, gives you links to the Google Play Movies and TV. They're basically the Google Play Store for Movies and TV. You can look up the value of Electronium. Like, you know, it would show you like charts and graphs and all that stuff. Then it also has uh, Electronium Pay. Now, on this, on the shop, basically, the shop menu, on Electronium Pay, it brings you, it brings you to where you can exchange your Electronium that the shop device mined, and you can exchange it for Google Play Store credit. And then so you switch it, then once you do that and you complete it, you can go back, hop into the Google Play Store, for the, and you can purchase your movie or your TV show. So this was MoonQuest. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe um, to Podcast Now, and I'll see you guys next time.